Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of <laughs> the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Earth might be bigger than we thought. For years, people have debated over the shape of the Earth, if it is round or flat. Now, this might just all be a conspiracy, but, what if the Earth had more than just seven continents? And Antarctica, was just a giant ice wall, that kept us from seeing the rest of the continents. What if once you made it past the ice wall, you'll find the 20 continents that are really being hidden from us? And what if there was a map that showed this? There are theories that these continents contain prehistoric animals, giants and advanced civilizations, and that the seven continents that we are living in is actually a giant farmer business, owned by a small handful of families that make up the filthy rich in the real world, or in the other continents that we don't know about. That is why the Earth might be bigger than we thought. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something, and, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Proof that Jesus lived. On January 6, 1982, a man by the name of Ron Wyatt reported that he had found the Ark of the Covenant, located 20 feet below Christ's crucifixion site. It was January 6, 1982, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, when he broke into the underground chamber that was filled with temple treasures from the first temple. He almost walked right by the dig site without giving it a single thought. But, as he described, his left arm raised up unexpectedly, pointed, and then he said, that's Jeremiah's grotto. The Ark of the Covenant is in there. However, that wasn't the only thing he found that day. Well, you see why it discovered that the lid of the box containing the Ark had split in two, and a dark dry substance had spilled into it. Thinking nothing of it, he brought a sample back to a lab in Israel, and later realized what he had found was actually blood, but not just any normal blood blood, with only 24 chromosomes. Chromosomes, coming from the maternal parent. Curious, he put the blood in a growth medium, and realized that the blood was still alive. Anxious to find out more, he returned to the discovery site, and realized that the substance actually trickled down from where the cross stood through the rocks, and onto the Ark of the Covenant. What do you think? The movie Frozen is actually a major cover-up. When Walt Disney passed away, it was rumored that his body was cryogenically frozen and hidden beneath the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disneyland. Disney had always been obsessed with cryogenics and was confident that in the future, when the technology had advanced, his consciousness could be reawakened and he could experience the future. It's alleged that someone working in the park leaked a photo of Walt Disney's body frozen on the internet. And to make it all go away, Disney produced the movie Frozen to change Google's search algorithm so that users searching the terms Disney and Frozen will be singing along to the movie and will never come across Walt Disney's frozen body. What do you think? The Sahara is a recent phenomenon and burial ground for ancient civilizations. 
We're taught the Sahara is millions of years old, however per usual, early maps seem to state otherwise. Somehow, cartographers of the 16th and 17th century didn't consult the modern historians for their wisdom of today. Instead, they depicted the Sahara the way it was back then 450 years ago. And what a beautiful sight it was. Lakes, rivers, cities, people, animals, etc. Then, for some apparent reason, mankind suffered some serious case of worldwide amnesia. Where the entire continent was wiped and had to be rediscovered. It appears some very powerful event wiped practically the entire African continent just a few hundred years ago. Hundreds of cities and towns were destroyed. Millions, if not billions of people could have been killed in the process. Yet we're fed a bunch of BS about millions of years. Of course, if you can buy the bogus narrative compliant explanation of the cartographers making shit up, this ain't for you. Be dull, or be attentive. What do you think? There's ancient legends from various cultures around the world concerning a golden age of humankind. The Titans, Demigods, Daityas, Nephilim and all the other legends by any other name, embody the truth of what really happened in the past. We see extensive amount of similar accounts regarding giants, practically in every culture dating from antediluvian era, towards even recent accounts with their smaller ones. The largest evidence of them remains hidden in plain sight. They built megaliths, pyramids, and enormous architecture. Our world population in general is so properly trained to believe that certain creatures are impossible, mythological, unscientific, and folklore-based. They can't seem to see the truth when it's presented right in front of their eyes. Out of all this, one thing is for certain. The powers that be fear the release of info regarding giants, they fear them. What do you think? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.